For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everybody wants love, but they don't want the love of God. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. For God, for means there's a reason. John 3.16 starts off, for God. The reason is that you are a sinner. For all have sinned and come the short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. The fact is that you are a sinner with a disease that's terminal, that causes death, that causes you to be absent from the presence of God. For God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. For God is the reason that you need God now. Behold, now, now, God said, come, let us, God has an invitation for you, God is reaching out for you, because your life will end, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for God so loved the world that you have a need, a must, for God to save your soul. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The Holy God will cast you into hell by rejecting His gift, by retaining your sins. God will cast you into hell for God. So love the world that you are His creation. It is not by Big Bang, it's by Holy God. A Holy God that created you, that made us. Us, us people went against the Word of God by defiled God and became sinners and died. God saw our condition as sinners and reached out with the conditional clause that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. You see, sinners cannot go to God. God is holy. You are not. You have to go to God by righteousness. And you have none righteous, for there is none good. No, not one. For all have sinned and come short of glory of God. There are no righteousness except for the Lord Jesus Christ. The sinless Savior that saved our souls can reach out to you that are lost today for salvation, God's way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For God so loved the world. That's the love of God. The love of God is Jesus Christ. The love of God is Calvary's cross. The finished work of Christianity is the empty tomb. You see, the Bible, Jesus Christ, does not life for salvation. True Christianity, true Bible, is that God gave His life. He doesn't take it. He gave His life that you may have life more abundantly. Christ died. Christ shed His blood. According to Acts 20.28, 20, that blood is the blood of God. Now there are religions out there that will say if we slay blood, that's a religion. Where Jesus Christ came to be to say that I will give my blood, I will shed my blood, my God blood, my sinless blood, behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. For God so loved, that's a sacrificial love. That's a love that will make a marriage last forever. If 
when you keep on reaching out for the other. God has reached out to his creation, to mankind, even though mankind continually rejects God. God is still re reaching out to you to become saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. You may not like this preaching, but God tries to come out here every week to tell you what he expects from you. That's the mercy and love of God that you may not even believe. Because God can just say to you people here in Daytona Beach Farmer's Market, I'm done with you. I'm going to take him away, I'm going to remove him from you, and you can go about your life. Because I don't see anybody else out here preaching the gospel. And the gospel is that Christ died for our sins, he was buried, and he arose again according to the scriptures. That is the salvation. For God so loved the world is Jesus Christ the gospel. You are in a condition you can't do nothing about. You may extend it. You may make it pain free. You may make it drug free. But you will die. And God knows that you will die. And God knows in the present condition, if you were to die right now, here I go, you will go to a place called hell. You were born to die. Because you are a sinner. Because you have rejected God and His commandments. God told Adam, do not eat that fruit. Adam ate that fruit, we became sinners. Whether that's fair, whether that's right, you argue with God. But because my grandparents rebelled against the commandment of God, I am a sinner today, and I need to deal with that sin myself, no one else. Because of Adam and Eve, you are a sinner. You need to deal with your sin. Not a priest, you. You need to deal with the fact is that you do things, you think things, you are active in things that are against God called sin. And whatever that sin is in your life, because of that sin, the wages of sin, you will die. For God so loved the world. God says, I know you're going to die. And God knows that if you die in your present condition, you'll go to a place of hell. But I love you enough. I have to, but I don't want to send you to hell. God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. So God so loved the world that He gave a sacrificial love of giving, not taking. God gave. He doesn't want your money. He does not want your attendance in church. He doesn't care if you're good. You can absolutely do nothing to please God right now in your present condition. God will look at you as you are right now and say, go to hell. You do not impress God. But God loved you enough that He gave. He is offering a gift. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What did God give? What is that love gift? That is Jesus Christ. Many of you do not have Jesus Christ. Many of you don't care about Jesus Christ. Too many, Jesus Christ is a cuss word. But that is God's love. That is God's gift. That is what will get you into glory, into heaven. Without Jesus Christ, you will burn in a lake of fire that burns for all eternity. Even
agreement with God loving you and offering you. And when you get a loud mouth preacher such as stands here every week and preaches you the gospel, what God expects from you, you stand in greater damnation because every week, especially as a vendor here, you have been told over and over and over, Jesus saves, and Jesus saves alone. You have heard over and over your religion, your conduct, who you are cannot save you. If you don't think so, come over here, get my business card, you can see these videos every week. You are not good enough for salvation. I've had people come up here, well, preach more love. I do, Jesus Christ. In John 3.16, for God so loved, that's past tense. The love of God is past tense. It happened about, I don't know, but it happened about 33 A.D., somewhere around there. Give or take. Give or take 10 years or so. We don't know. Calendar's all messed up. Calendar's a Roman Catholic calendar. Why believe that? Believe the Bible. But the love gift is past tense. So, what Christ done on the cross, that is the love of God. Now, if you continue to reject Jesus Christ, the love gift of God, God hates you. No Jesus, no love of God. God cannot love you outside of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. If you reject Jesus Christ, God hates you. The wrath of God, John says, abideth upon you. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son shall see the wrath of God abiding upon you. So don't come up with love God and God loves me if you don't love Jesus and believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Alright, so the love of God is Jesus Christ. The love that God has given is sacrificial love. It is giving, not taking. What is the gift? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Let me spark some of your interest here. God did not give a Baptist church. God did not give your mama to save you. God did not for, so love the world that He depended on your goodness. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten cash, check, or money orders, not in the Bible. In order to get to heaven, you've got to get to Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is the one that said that, that God said, I sent. The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life is the one, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. The given the only begotten Son of God, John 3.16, is the same Son that said in John 14.6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, the only access to God, the one that said that is the love that God sent you. You are to have more love of God. I do, Jesus. What about you? And without the love of God, without Jesus Christ, when you take your last breath, you will wake up in eternity and call hell. Hell is a place where people go who have not trusted Jesus Christ as their Savior. You may have sinned the great ten sins, the Ten Commandments, but lying will not put you into hell. Stealing will not put you into the lake of fire. But 
because you are a thief, because you are a liar, and you have not put those sins under Jesus Christ through the blood to be washed by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, your rejection of the Savior, of the Lamb of God, will put you in a place called hell. You see, you're filthy in the eyes of God. You are a sinner. And there are no degrees of sin. For all have sinned and come to short of the glory of God. In the eyes of God, all of you deserve to go to hell. You've earned it. The wages of sin is death. You have, through your lifetime, earned to go to hell. Why do you think the most predominant phrase at the workplace is, go to hell? You've earned it. And when you die, that check will be cashed by you. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die. And you've earned the death. And you will go to hell. You will burn in hell. You will spend eternity in hell. Except for, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Like chemotherapy can treat a cancer, Jesus Christ can treat your sin. And remove that sin. And give you life. Any of you here involved with cancer and had it removed and been treated by chemotherapy and been conditioned okay by a doctor? You are well even after being treated by cancer. I'll tell you right now, without Jesus Christ, you will die and you will burn in hell. No matter how much chemotherapy you have. You need the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse you. You need the blood of Jesus Christ to wash you and make you clean. As chemotherapy is used to treat cancer, Jesus Christ is to treat you as a sinner. No chemotherapy, cancer will run its cause. No Jesus Christ, the sinner will run its cause. He'll die and he'll wake up in hell. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For the love of yourself, you went to a doctor and got treated. Because you didn't want to die. For God so loved the world that He saw that you're going to die, saw that the condition you are in, and then reached out to you by His Son. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish. Now, you're going to still die. Listen, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You're still a sinner. you still got the condition of terminal disease called death. But, eternal life will be sought after you die. For the Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Those that are believed on Jesus Christ as their Savior, when you pass from this life and over to the next, you will be in the presence of God. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. You don't go to hell. But you'll still die. I could kill over right now and have a heart attack right here on this brick sidewalk. And be saved. I could walk out in traffic, get hit by a car, and die. Even though I'm saved. I am washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am saved. I 
can have a religion come up and kill me in the name of Jesus. I will die. But I'm saved. And from this brick sidewalk, imitation brick sidewalk, I will pass from this body to Jesus Christ. I'll be much happier than you are. Because I have trusted and had Jesus washed me of my sins. I have put my sins, I have put my faith in my trust. I have repented and turned to Jesus Christ as my Savior. Nothing else. Because of my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, whenever I take my last breath, I will be present with Him. Let me tell you what happens, what will happen to many of you. You will die, just as much as a saved person will die. And without Christ, you'll wake up in hell and torment and you'll never get out. And the Bible says that's not life. To be absent from the body and present with the Lord, that's eternal life. To wake up in hell, John says that is the wrath of God. And it's all a free gift. It just takes a little humbleness. It takes much repentance. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow those that have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, just make sure that you know that being saved or getting saved will not solve your problem. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior may make more problems. But trusting in Jesus Christ as your Savior will change your eternal destination. Your eternal destination is proved upon what you do with Jesus. Your eternal destination is set upon what you do with Jesus, possibly maybe today. Because we don't know when life will end. Maybe you will have five to ten years. But your eternal destination is set upon what you do with Jesus. You reject Jesus, and God will reject you. Give this gentleman a piece of pie while we offer Jesus. Rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior, God will reject you. He that hath the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. I'll tell you where the peace won't be, by you rejecting Jesus Christ and ending up in hell. For Ezekiel says, there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. So the peace is in Jesus Christ. Salvation is sought in Jesus Christ. The gift of God, the love of God, is through Jesus Christ alone. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto me, no man comes unto the Father except by me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's a remarkable thing by the Bible, because the Bible says that after you die, there's life. What does the Bible say? The Bible says that there is an afterlife. No matter what man has said, there's two events for an afterlife.
what? There is glory with God and hell with Satan. That's it. And you get to glory, you get to the Father by Jesus Christ. You get to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. Life is sought by God, Jesus Christ. For the love of God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God sees your destination. God sees you going to hell. And he has provided his love. His love is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. From what? What are you to be saved from? Hell. You know, God has sent the God has sent His Bible. God has sent the word out that you may not go to hell. That's it. That's salvation. God does not want you to go to hell. God is long suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. That's why He gave Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Our problem is sin. It's not we're too tall, we're too short, we're too fat, we're too black, we're too white, we're too gray. No, our common ancestral problem is we are sinners. What are you going to do with your sin? Lay upon the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world and go to glory. Trust in anything else but Jesus. Go to hell. Don't pass gold. Don't collect $200. As soon as that last breath is taken without Jesus Christ, you'll be in the lake of fire. Which burneth forever. That's it. You can believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and go to heaven, or you can do whatever you want and go to hell. And you can say the love of God, the love of God. If you don't believe on Jesus, you have no love of God. You don't know what the love of God is. Are you an extremist? Are you an extremist? You will die because you are a sinner. The wages of sin is death. Forget it. You're not good. There is none good. No, not one. And because you are a sinner, the wages of sin is death. You will die. In your death, you will face an afterlife. The afterlife is heaven or hell. Well, how do I get saved from hell? How do I get out of hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That is the gift of God. Not only is that the gift of God, that is the love of God. You want the love of God, you've got to come to Jesus. Anything else is lust. Religion will use and abuse you. Jesus Christ alone will save you. He will change your destination from hell to heaven by your faith and repentance and believe in Him as your Savior. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Listen, saved or lost, you're waking up in eternity. You can wake up with God or you can wake up with Satan. That's your choice. But Jesus said ye must be born again. You need to have a new spiritual birth because your first birth is wrong. Your first birth made you a sinner. The second birth will clean you. The second birth will wash you. The second birth will be approved by God. Don't come to God with church. He won't accept it. The church is not the love of God. 
The church is the result of the love of God. Don't come to God with cash, check, or money order. That's a blessing of God given to man, but that's not the salvation of man. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. God is reaching out to you with the only treatment that is possible for your sin condition. It's right here. It's right here. And I'm sorry it's not a pill. I'm sorry it's not a nickel. I'm sorry it's not a needle. I am sorry that this is not a beer can. But I am sure that this is the Word of God and this is the cure for your sin condition. This is your chemotherapy for living eternal life. And it don't make your hair go away. It don't make you sleepy. The only side effect it gets from this treatment for your sin is happiness, joy, long-suffering, peace. And you can have this done every day in the comfort of your home. And unlike chemotherapy, this is God approved. God made Jesus Christ, born of a virgin, approved by God for your sins. You may have survived cancer, but will you su survive eternal life without Jesus Christ? Absolutely not. And believe me, when it comes to cancer, I know. Thank God for the treatment of chemotherapy. Twice over. But I'll tell you one thing. I thank God that my wives have trusted in Jesus Christ as their Savior. Eternal life. Not by a drug, by Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Here's the prescription. This is the prescription. Let me find the prescription for you. It's in here. There is a prescription in the Bible for you. Come now, let us reason together. Say it to the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God says, come and take this prescription of mine. Because I love you. For God so loved the world that he gave. There's your prescription. The prescription is to believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior. To repent of your sins of what you are, a sinner. Put your faith in trust. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. For all have sinned and come to show the glory of God. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. you got a sin condition. To remove that sin condition, come to the Lamb of God. Be ye washed in the Lamb of God. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us all from sin. Come to God and have that sin cut out of your life. Removed. Washed. Another prescription that fits with that prescription. If, you, if you're a world that wants prescriptions, I'll give you a prescription. Here's a prescription signed by God. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's the prescription to get to heaven. 
You come to God as you are. A sick sinner. And the doctor God will say, I love you. I've given you my son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish. Eternal life is wrought by Jesus Christ, approved by God. This message is approved by God in Jesus Christ and is sealed for all eternity. And unlike the politicians, there are no lies. There are no inside gaps. There are no other alternative motives but that God wants you to join Him through Jesus Christ. And by the way, this message is just not once a season to get votes. This message is all eternity for your soul. Clinton or Trump couldn't do what Jesus Christ can do in your life. And Jesus Christ won't get paid for it. 